This episode originally aired on September 24th, 2022 on the Unethical Patreon. We're still in our between season break, but this is a little bonus episode. One of our callers on the 1855 Private Dicks phone number left us a voicemail suggesting that Australia wasn't real. So I looked into it and we figured it out. Our clients today are Bo and Christy Jansen from Unethical Podcast and also very good friends of the show. Enjoy. Next week, we'll be back with episode one of season three. And I said at the end of our season finale that we'd be back with a bang. Actually, we'll be back with a stab. Hopefully you forget about that, RJ, and that's what you pop up to at work now. <laughs> no makeup, RJ. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> If you change her name from Glitchy Bo because she she fixes her internet. Once I put my makeup on, you have to change this. Rick is not coming, eh? That we didn't he didn't answer at all. No, he blatantly refused. Blatantly yeah. refused. I'm confident. He was he like, be I will not be there. <laughs> okay. Jesus. We will miss your four words that you say during the whole fucking thing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, Christy, stop beating around the bush. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. Can you change your name to Killer Christy? <laughs> <laughs> no, C- Christy cunt. <laughs> All right. Well, as long as I'm referred to for the rest of this episode as Glitchy Bo, that's all I want. So I've been thinking a lot about Australia lately. Why? Because I don't know a lot of things about Australia. I thought I knew a lot more than I do, but I really don't. Like, if you guys could give me a quick history, please, just help me out of the founding of Australia. Because I know the whole prisoner get dropped off on an island thing, but how does that work exactly? What, like, if you could explain that to me briefly, that would be awesome. Well, I wasn't there. But <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> let me ask Google. <laughs> no, my history is shocking. I'm going to handball this off over to the other Jansen. All right. So Australia was colonized first. Like the the ships of the the Richies landed. So like the Christopher Columbus kind of people. Okay. I don't know the dates. I'm not. I'm not all about that. But basically, they're just like you know what? Wasn't it Cook? Is- yeah, Captain Cook, whatever. One of those dickheads. But basically they were like, you know what? This place is really fucking hot. It's really uninhabitable. I, we've got a great idea. We can send all of the people from England over that steal shit that are, you know, in jail and we can make them work their guts out to colonise this place and then we can come over when it's all done and live the high life. But they can come over first and... They can build everything for us and do it to work off their debts. Yeah, and just to make sure that, um, you know, it's really, really inhabitable when we come over. While you're over there, prisoners, would you also mind killing every native ever? Anyone you see that has skin at least one shade darker than you must die. Yeah, you know what? They didn't have to say that. They're British people. They would have done it anyway. Well, see, well, now, Chrissy, how, how does that apply to your your rule if like they're working out in the Australian sun and then they just slowly get tanner. Like what if you have like a best Mm -hmm. friend and like you're out there, like, I don't know, breaking (laughs) rocks apart or whatever, really quality, good work you do. RJ. And then we said we weren't there. uh, I mean, yeah, but you know, you, this is your culture. Maybe they have like tattoos, you know, or like stamps like the Jews had, you know, the numbers. They're just like, (laughs) if you've got a nut, if you've got a number, (laughs) you're safe. What? It's just I'm not being racist. I'm not being Jewish. I'm just or like, maybe maybe the way I was seeing it is that maybe you're not safe, and then like you know like as as the sun beats down on you, you just see your your like your best friend just getting like redder and redder, and you're like, oh man, tonight tonight, <laughs> like I would have to kill him tonight. No, I don't think they were worried about people turning into Aboriginals. I think they were worried about. The actual Aboriginals, because obviously Which they makes were savage, no sense. savages. Obviously, there were savages that just wanted to eat the white man and you know kill them all. But that was 1788. Yeah, and they just continued to colonize Australia and take over everything. And then stuff like the stolen generation happened, where they were like, you know what, you guys are shit at raising your own children. White people are way better at raising children, so we're going to take all of your kids and put them in white families. So they're raised properly. We did that in Canada too. Yeah. 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 That's not exclusive to Australia. No, no, not at all. Not at all. 
Yeah. No. We, we, we got us into some of that too. White people do it everywhere because okay. white people know, ev- no, white people know everything. So. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, knowing the history of Australia, like, would you say that 1700s, late 1700s, early 1800s, Britain was fucked up? Like that was a fucked up country and they did a lot of fucked up shit. Would you guys all agree mm-hmm. with me with that? 100%. Why do you keep talking to me like I was there? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying knowing history, if you look back at things and then you go like, oh, those people fucked up. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. See, now I was going into this assuming they were there. But I feel like you're trying to trap me. Australians mm-hmm. are immortal and, and, and that Bo is single-handedly responsible for the genocide of the natives. <laughs> <in Australia. laughs> It's just not... It was one time, RJ. You're right. You're right. What? what what's what's one genocide amongst friends? <laughs> <laughs> After the last episode we did with you, Christy, the the Christy mm. mystery, the one eight hundred private dicks, the Christery, the Christery, <laughs> we actually got a new call, oh. and now we have a new mystery. Amazing. Let's listen to the call. I feel like this is going to get very racist. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, you're here. Of course, it's going to get racist. <laughs> oh shit. Hey Dex, I just finished listening to that Christy episode. I think that's a crock of shit. I think it's all fake. And also, I think Bo and Christy are the same person. Anyway, if you can try to prove this, I'd like to know. Also, RJ's my favorite. Bye. I I am so offended by everything he said. Also. <laughs> Well, she's not helping right now that she doesn't have her camera on, <laughs> I'll just say. <laughs> because I am so offended. I don't blame you. We don't even look alike. But here's the thing. There's a lot of fucked up shit here. I- I'm kind of agreeing. I'm going on this guy's side. I'm kind of agreeing with, with our listener here. Think about it. There's a lot of things that don't make sense with this whole thing. Like, I, I think it's pretty fucked up. They take a bunch of people, drop them off on an island. Paradise. Turns out it's way nicer than fucking Britain. Like, oh, let's here take the fucking nice tropical island. We're going to stay on this rainy island with France as our neighbor. Like, that doesn't seem like. <laughs> that, that because makes... New Zealand is our neighbor. And Bali. <laughs> That's wait, nothing close to the French. All right. Yeah. Rick wasn't convinced last time that you guys were even Australian to begin with. Rick, when he told me, he's like, oh, she killed a bug and knows a national anthem. That doesn't prove shit, which I kind of agree with. <laughs> I kind of agree with that. Like, I didn't grill she you hard enough. Right? Oh, shit. So today's mystery is not only, uh, not only, but does Australia, does Australia even exist? That's the mystery oh, today. My God. You guys are going to have to prove that to us today. <laughs> Do you want me to prove where the fuck I am? An elite team of private detectives. What if balloons are aliens? Like maybe that's the key component we're missing. Cover-ups. John's guilty. Mysteries that need to be solved. Maybe Mormons need mountains. Richard, shut up. Let's listen to the one side of the argument, and then you can go and uh, attack it from the other side. Sound good? Okay. Uh, all right. Mute your mic, babe. <laughs> <laughs> we already established that 1788 Britain was a bunch of dickholes, correct? Mm-hmm. I knew this was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> you went. I don't want to the, moment he, <laughs> the moment he said, is 1700s England a bit of a dickhole? I'm like, well, I want to say yes, but I feel like he's trying to trap me. And you got me. Well done. Well played, Studle. Well, uh, knowing that, <laughs> knowing that this is going to sound super crazy, right? So this isn't a new conspiracy that Australia doesn't mm. exist. This has actually been around for a long while now. True. I tried to go back and find the origins of it. The earliest mention of Australia not existing I found was it was posted first on Facebook on March 17th, 2017. So it's not super old, but it's new enough. By a 17 year old Swedish lady named Shelly Florid. F L O R. Fuck the Swedes. <laughs> it's true. Fuck the Swedes. I'll agree with that. The, this Facebook post that I'll go through in a bit, uh, it went viral almost instantly and it pissed off most of Australia, which we'll talk about in a bit right away, too. Uh, two days mm-hmm. of posting, it had 40,000 comments and most of them were from abusive, quote unquote, Australians. Right? <laughs> I will shove my quote unquote up your ass if you keep saying that. After going to find the original post, 
Shelly left everyone a note saying that the post privacy had been changed to private, so you can't find it anywhere. So I had to fucking dig for this. It's not a race. Yeah. It's just private. After reading it, though, after I did find it, reading it, I'm, I'm a lot more convinced. So I'm going to read you the post in Dang. its entirety. I'm going to read you the post in its entirety. All okay. Right? It starts yeah. like this. Australia is not real. It's a hoax made for us to believe that Britain moved over their criminals to some place. In reality, all these criminals were loaded off the ships into the waters, drowning before they could ever see land again. It's a cover-up for one of the greatest mass murders in history made by one of the most prominent empires. Australia does not exist. All things you call proof are actually well-fabricated lies and documents made by the leading governments of the world. Your Australian friends, question mark? They're all actors and computer-generated personas, part of a plot to trick the world. If you think you've ever been to Australia, you're terribly wrong. The planes and pilots are all in on this, and they all, in actuality, only flown you to islands close nearby, or in some cases, parts of South America, where they have cleared space and hired actors to act as real Australians. Australia is one of the biggest hoaxes ever created, and you have all been tricked. Join the movement today and make it known that they have been deceived. Make it known that this has just been a cover-up. The things these Australian say they are doing, all these swear words and actions based on alcoholism, MDMA, and bad decisions are all a ways to distract you from the ugly truth that this is one of the greatest genocides in history. 162,000 people was said to have been transported to this imaginary land during a mere 80 years, and they're all long dead now. They never yeah. reached the promised land. Tell the truth. Stand up for what is right. Make sure you spread the word. Australia is not real. It's a code word for the cold-blooded murder of more than 100,000 people, and it's not okay. We will not accept this. Stand up for the ones who died. Let it be known. Australia does not exist. Hashtag Australia is not real. Thoughts. Okay. So, firstly, are we really accepting this is a truth from a woman who has offended every Jew that's ever existed by saying that was the greatest genocide of the world, of the life of the globe? Mm-hmm. I reckon people who survived the Holocaust would have a problem with that. Firstly, yeah, how many people did they say? Because that that's not even 160,000. That's not even a lot. That's not even... Yeah, that's not even quantifiably. Mm. Right? Maybe she just meant like the best, like, like her favorite. It's a big mass murder. It's a small genocide. Second, you're telling me you, Mr. Stoodle, are trying to tell <laughs> me that every government in the whole world, every pilot, every air hostess, every person that was mentioned in that thing. No one has gone, you know how I can make a few bucks? No one. Not a single person. How would they make a few bucks? I don't get it. By telling the truth. Telling the truth. Quote, See, she quoted quote. the truth. She quoted truth. Whistleblower. 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 So you're telling me that there is someone, if it was true, right? If it was true, you're telling me that there's not a single, what, 2017? It's 2023. In five years. No, wait. 1700. In in however many years that was since we've been colonized, you're trying to tell me that there hasn't been a single whistleblower. You're full of shit. There probably there, happened. There was. It was the Facebook post. No, she's got an air hostess and it's Sweden. No one. Okay. Also, try and pick someone more credible than someone from Sweden. Oh, God, this makes me so angry. That is a fair <laughs> assessment. They do feel very untrustworthy. They're Swedish, yeah, for sure. I get I that. I, I get that. I don't jive that level of neutrality. <laughs> <laughs> they make up everything. The story I did about the fucking serial killer. Sweden's yeah. up. Sweden, Swedish people are liars. They're That's liars. Fair. And she's 17 years old. But, I mean, okay, so you got me on the, the Swedish. You're, you're going with the anti-Swede, which I'm anti-Swede too, so I'm cool with that. And uh, with me, the fact that she's 17 doesn't add to her credibility. But let's break this down a little bit. Let's break down that, that, that post. That's I find that problematic, though. You're just anti-Swede because they didn't side with you guys in World War II. With who? With Canada? No, no, the Nazis. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> He's talking he's about got, my... He's got generational <laughs> trauma. Or, he's talking about, yeah. talking about my, oh, uh, my, my history. Mm-hmm. Richard, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. 
Uh, no, I don't like Swedes because they Peter London or well, not Peter London. What was that guy's name? He pretended to murder a bunch of people and they all believed him. I was super pissed. <laughs> Darth Quick. Darth Quick. Yeah, Darth <laughs> fucking douchebag. <laughs> Nobody checked. Everyone's like, he actually did it. And he fucking took credit for like, I don't know, 25 deaths. Yeah, but that's that's a very low risk thing to do in Sweden. Because like, what, you murder like 15 people. They put you in timeout for a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and give you drugs. Yeah. Give you as many drugs as you can possibly ask for. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay Stoodle. On that, one of their greatest, and I'm quoting, greatest serial killers of all times was a complete fraud. So obviously their interrogation system in their country is not that great. So uh, I, I'm with you on the sweet part, okay? So you've convinced me on that side of things. But we got a couple more things to break down from this Facebook post. Just one thing that, that I find incredibly offensive about this entire post is that, sure, she's saying that all these people supposedly died coming over from England, but does she know how many fucking Aboriginal Indigenous people died? Like that, she's just like completely eradicating the fact that they came here and slaughtered an entire fucking population right. of people. To be fair, she doesn't believe that happened. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that. That post also, if especially it's on Facebook, and the way that it's written strikes me as someone who's not very concerned with the genocide of brown people. Also, can I please ask if it was in color? And was it all in caps? <laughs> was it in color? What does that mean? If it had color in it and it's on Facebook, you know that it's got to be real. So we're really fighting a losing battle here. It's on Facebook. So uh, let's just let's just keep giving it that as much credit as that's worth. <laughs> <laughs> says the guy who's bringing it to us. <laughs> if Australia doesn't exist, those brown people didn't exist to begin with. So nobody actually died. Oh, God, I'm going to have some very upset Aboriginal people knowing that they don't exist when I have to tell them. Holy shit. I wish... I wish Caleb was here right now. They're still in Australia. You guys aren't even in Australia. Yeah. You guys are actors. I'm fucking, this is my- I'm gonna Excuse me. I'm going to have to call my brother and tell him he doesn't exist. Perfect. <laughs> did you did you buy your brother, your imaginary brother, a cell phone plan? <laughs> An imaginary cell phone plan. <laughs> I've got a phone. <laughs> yeah, they have those all over the world. <laughs> if I sent you a pin of where I am, where does it tell you that I am? Uh, uh, we'll get to how they fake this shit in a bit. But yes, okay. it would oh. say you're in Australia. <laughs> it would say you're in Australia. Okay. <laughs> so let's break down that email. So first of all, we said Britain's crazy country, especially in those times. They would definitely wouldn't put it past them to take a bunch of prisoners to the middle of the ocean and throw them off to drown. Correct? That's not um, implausible. Mm. I'm not agreeing with you. <laughs> But also you're right, but I'm not <laughs> agreeing with you. Fuck you. All right. And it's a cover-up. That's what she says in there too. It's a cover-up. The Brits are keeping it up because if true, it's one of the most cruel things the Brits have ever done in their history. Uh, I don't know about that. That's a little bit mm -hmm. of an overstretch. That would be one of the minor bad things they did. They've done a lot of bad shit over the years. Yeah. Great Britain uh, keeps up the farce because they've committed to the whole lie for so long. So now they, they just continue to go. The next line is about alcohol and MDMA and swearing. I'm sorry, but uh does what? sound a bit suspicious. You know, you guys what are, the like, fuck are you, gonna say? you guys are overdoing it with the swearing and with the MDMA oh. and with the so you guys, it's like the lady doth protest too much. You know what I mean? Like we're real fuck cunts, cunty fuck shit. Listen <laughs> here, you sentient armpit. I am fucking real. I've never fucking touched MDA in my whole fucking life. <laughs> MDA yes. <laughs> says the person who, says the person who's on a roll right now. <laughs> I don't see. I don't even get the drug joke. This <laughs> <laughs> is gonna offend you even more, Bo. When I heard that you guys rename McDonald's Maccas, like that's overdoing it. Nobody would do that. It's name recognition. It's bullshit. Oh. It's overdoing it. British humor. We do it to every fucking word. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Someone get me Google. I need to ask him about stupid renamed fucking. Oh, you ah, ah, you renamed a product after Justin Bieber for your little donut shop. Not permanently. <laughs> Tim, Hort Tim Hortons. Not permanently. <laughs> no, and Maccas didn't do it permanently either. And don't give me that look. I work for Maccas over here. So don't fucking look at me like. <laughs> you know, your instinct is to say you work for Maccas. 
There's the instinct like, is not to say I work for McDonald's. It's because it's because we do it to every fucking word that exists. If there's a word that's got more than three syllables, we shorten it because we we don't like taking too long to, to speak. That's it's I mean, too much. I I think you do the inverse of that though too. Like you know, try and tell me you didn't increase the the length of time it takes to say the word no. Yeah, we nah. Don't, we don't say no. We say we no. Say we say no. No. Arr. What? <laughs> also, also, we're that lazy that we don't say our R's properly. So when we say the word car, we don't say car. We say car. I know, because it's it's like uh, uh, you guys have other things to do. you got acting roles to do during the day, and then you guys got oh your my real God. jobs. Yeah, we've got to make sure to take the wheel. you got to shorten shit down to get things done quicker so you can go to your real lives. Now, I get it. It's a lot of work trying to act, trying to be this all day long. When you, like, really, you're in Idaho right now, a potato farmer, <laughs> just on a Zoom call, <laughs> pretending oh, it's nine at night. <laughs> also, hang on, I'm going back to the very beginning. It is not tropical everywhere in, in Australia. And you're like, well, being on a tropical island, that is not what it's like. Ha- okay, 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 okay. If we're being seen, if we live, if we <laughs> live on a tropical island off of the bottom of South America, why the fuck are we full of red dirt and burnt? Okay? Not everywhere in Australia is tropical. Explain that to me. I've seen filters on, I've seen, uh, Tatooine doesn't look like, it looks real, but it's just on TV. I've seen a lot, of, I've never been yeah. there, so. We're fucking, we're directed by George Lucas, the entire fucking country. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's getting upset too, this is amazing. <laughs> I didn't know this is just going to trigger them so much, it's, it's nothing better. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? I would be happy if all you fuckers think we don't exist because then you won't fucking come here. Excuse me. Excuse me for a second. Hello. Hello, brother. I'd just <laughs> like to tell you I'm currently with Private Dicks doing an episode and they're liking to tell me, as a, as a proud Indigenous Aboriginal man, they are, they are saying that Australia and Indigenous men and women don't exist. I don't think we said that. I think that that's the claim. What do they mean they don't exist? Like they're saying that Australia is a big giant hoax. And I just wanted to know how you felt about not existing. I mean, it's a bit of a shock to the system. I mean, I feel, I feel my body, right? <laughs> Yo, that would be crazy if you just made your brother evaporate. <laughs> like the picture on Back to the Future where they start yeah. to like melt away. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, sorry about, I'm really sorry that I had to tell you this and let you know, but the private dicks have, have, tried, have, have decided that Australia doesn't exist at this point. We're still arguing it. And I just, I really thought I needed to tell you that you didn't exist. And it was really lovely knowing you while I did. Yeah, cool. Well, I mean, it takes, it takes pressure of life off, I guess. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> See, we did something good. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'll talk to you soon. All right. I love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Yeah, okay. Oh. All right. Well, he didn't He didn't help me with my case then because he's like, oh, I feel that makes me feel much better. He's just like, fuck so. yeah, I can go out and do whatever I want now. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the post. So I, I was reading a lot about the Shelly Flor, Florid. I don't know how to say her last name. F-L-O-Y-R-D. Sounds exactly like someone from Sweden. Flor- Flor-d. 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 Uh, Flor-d. Flor-d. She, okay. <laughs> uh, let me, let me go take a step back here i've been purposely antagonizing you because i think it's hilarious but like obviously this is ridiculous right and she knows it's ridiculous too she like fucking jokes about it she said she got the idea to post this after she got a fight with one of her friends from australia about the fact that her friend from australia didn't like the band the smiths so she was like Uh. if you don't like the smiths that means that that's impossible who couldn't like the smiths Hence, oh Australia doesn't exist. That's how she like came to the whole conclusion. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So the whole reason why for the last five years there's been nothing but memes and shit heaped on us is because some bitch was like, you don't like my band? You don't like them? Oh, that's not quite, uh, does not compute, cannot make brain understand, well, you must not exist. It must be AI. It's true. Are you serious? That's exactly why. She just posted that to be <laughs> funny to piss her friend off who didn't like the Smiths. <laughs> so good what if michael morrissey doesn't exist let's shift gears here who's that 
you're gonna make private dicks not exist. Like there's gonna be showing floors. <laughs> gonna be putting up a post very soon. He's the front man of the Smiths. Okay, cool. So yeah, we obviously don't exist because I fucking I think I think the Smiths are stupid. But anyway, I really this post went up. It went it viral. Like I said, twenty thousand shares within a couple hours. Forty thousand comments. Uh, pissed off a bunch of quote unquote Australians. Shelly says that most of the messages and reactions she got were negative. Uh, here's some of the comments I could find, but like I said, the post is now private, so I can't look at all the, I could just get whatever was screenshotted. Here's some, here's some Aussies reacting to this. First yes. one I got here. I'll reread that. Just give me a second. Get off the mushrooms, love. You're talking through your arse. Could be dangerous. You might drown in your own shit. <laughs> First one I saw. Little tame. All caps. The next one. Idiot, put yes. down the ice pipe or go catch a spaceship with those other nutters, Scientologists. Now I've heard it all. <laughs> Hope a kangaroo comes sense into you one day and a koala bites you in the ass. Oh, no, you don't want that. No, you no. don't want that. You're going to get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get chlamydia. You'll get chlamydia. Well, that's what she wants and to give Shelly. That's what this Australian wants Shelly to get because she posted this. Good. What yes. a cunt. Next one. I wish a drop bear would fall out of the sky and rip your bloody face off. If Australia doesn't exist, then drop bears do wanker. Or <laughs> an another one. Clearly the place is fucking real. I would know I'm a fucking Aussie bogan. <laughs> they just end it with bogan, which I find hilarious. Yes. Yes. Here's another <laughs> non-violent. Here's another good one. Non-violent, though. Uh, let's just say some oh. people are taking it seriously. This is the one of the quotes. I'm fairly certain that this is just a troll slash satire. The poster is using flat earth logic in more accessible scenario just to show how ridiculous it is. Yeah, I think that <laughs> I think this is satire, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and then some people were like your brother had fun with it. Shit, they're on to us. Pack it up, boys. Wipe down code red. <laughs> 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 or I saw like the kangaroos must be robots. Wow, where can I order one? Maybe they throw in a koala for me. So everyone really associates the koala with this fucking thing. Hmm. She said she's been called a cunt, idiot, yep. retard thousands of times. Uh, hmm. She's also fielded m oh. maybe a hundred death threats and at least a thousand threats of beatings. So you Aussies really don't like this. And I can, t uh, she, I can tell she's not lying by the reaction you gave me when I brought this up. <laughs> this is yeah. shit house. We're pretty fucking patriotic when it comes to our country. I could tell. Also, but not at the same time, because like. Well, you could take the piss out of yeah. yourself too. I get that. But I mean, mm. before she was get like, she was getting hammered down. She couldn't keep up with all the things. But before she could read all the messages and actually understand what was ha happening to her, she just kept hammering down further that day. So the, the same day, later the day, she posted two maps side by side, one with Australia and one without. And she said, this is the real map of the world. This isn't. People lost their fucking <laughs> mind on that, too. Wait, did she leave New Zealand in? Oh, yeah. She just took out all. And Australia. Tasmania? <laughs> I don't know what exactly what she did. <laughs> this bitch loves the Smiths. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's her, her arguments to, like, as they were talking to her. Here's some arguments that she had as to why Australia isn't real. So why is Australia on maps if it's not real? Her answer, the British Empire forced cartographers to include it to help cover up their lie. Okay. Every single one? Everyone. Uh, Google Earth. All right. How come you could pop up Australia on Google Earth? British Empire meddling. Just they, they can make that exist on Google Earth. On every satellite? On every Russia satellite. would probably have a problem with that, I reckon. Not Russia's part of the deal here. They, they got some sort of with secret they're helping Russia with. <laughs> <laughs> I broke both of this. I love it. <laughs> Is she, saying, is she honestly going, so she's honestly going, you know what, <clears throat> Russia and everybody else basically are going to put themselves aside just so everyone can get mind fucked and think that Australia exists when it doesn't. I don't know. I just don't see Vlad going, this sounds like a good idea. Take it off the map. <laughs> like I just don't see, like I just don't see it happening. Have access to our satellites. No, it doesn't happen. This is Bullshit! Can, can you do more Vlad impression for me? Because that was uh, yeah. I, I also enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. Can we do <laughs> <laughs> no, it's vodka yaga. <laughs> uh, Chris Hemsworth, ACDC, uh, British actors. Uh oh, that's what they're saying. British actors. Christy, did you just hear that? What? Oh, Chris good Hemsworth. thing you're paying attention. I'm trying to see if the Smiths ever came to Australia. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, Christy. They just said Akadaka doesn't exist. 
No, it okay. exists. It's just sure. British. It's not an actual Australian oh. band. They're a British band. I reckon Angus would have something to say about this. Yeah, uh, kangaroos. They're, they're not real. They're robots, right? Or CGI. Uh, either that or a guy in a suit. A guy in a suit. Oh, fuck, that'd be so uncomfortable. She can have a chat with Morrissey if she likes because he's coming to Australia next month. There you go. She can have a chat with him and see. Yeah, a chat with Morrissey. I can't imagine a better punishment for her. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you get. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good one. As soon as this conspiracy got out there, uh, within a day or so, the Flat Earthers grabbed onto it. Oh. <gasps> yep. They added their spin to the whole thing. They just said that the ship sailed off to the edge of our disc planet to get rid of the dirty convicts. Wait, did the people who believe were in charge were run by lizards get involved as well? Well, uh, they're not flat. Flat Earthers are the same. I think I thought he said Flat Earthers. No, oh, do flat earthers believe we've run by lizards? I I do believe they're all the same because this is how it starts. First, you're laughing at a post about Australia not being real, and then two years later, you're bringing a gun into a pizza shop demanding they show you the children. So (laughs) it's it is it's a slippery slope. Like if I had a dollar. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So actually, the flat earthers grabbed onto this because it actually helps them a lot with their theory because it's hard to make a disc out of the the planet when Australia is just sticking out on its side like that. So if you cut Australia off the thing, the, it fits better in the disc. So they love ah! it. Uh, and also, since Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere, there's actual observable evidence that the Earth is round because of the stars will move at a clockwise rotation and the Northern Hemisphere will go counterclockwise. So if you just eliminate the existence of Australia completely, all their observable evidence goes away as well. So you can just be like, well, actually, the stars go around in clockwise, so it makes sense that it's a big globe, and it doesn't really make sense to the disc, and then they go, well, Australia doesn't exist, so fuck you. And then it just cuts that whole argument right out for them. <laughs> so they you love- know what? To be, like, to be fair, you got to give them credit. Like, that is a good bandwagon to go on. Instead of trying to actually just fact check, like, all the evidence that's being presented in front of you, why not just get rid of the root cause? That's actually smart. Yeah, that's what they do. They, it's uh, the whole thing. Like, I get it's asinine. Like, I understand that, and I think it's just you're funny. an asinine. I know, I get it. Uh, <laughs> I understand that as well. But I, I so think it's funny the, to explore. So they cut the South Pole off as well, then. Yeah, anybody who's English speaking, the, the, in the Southern Hemisphere, it's uh, not as English speaking, right? I guess like Australia, New Zealand, it wouldn't be uh, so, South America and Africa. South America is more like Spanish and Portuguese than it would be English. Yeah, but it still exists in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm confused. Well, my point is uh, all these dum-dums who believe this stuff uh, would be from like America or they don't even really believe it. It's like trolls. So like just cutting off all the English fucking speaking people. So Australia would be one of the biggest places that have English speaking people because America speaks English. Yeah, but what about it? Why are we getting cut out and not Africa and South America? And what South America is not denying that they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is uh, they will go like, well, I can't say this in Spanish, but the uh, South Americans will go, oh, our star is going a clockwise motion too, but it's in Spanish. So English people don't understand it. The, the people who believe this. So they go, you don't making sense. So you don't, you're insignificant. Oh shit. These guys with the accent in Australia are making sense because it's English. So, yeah, we've circled back to racism. Good. Wow. Stupidity. It's not even racism. It's just idiots. And you know what? I don't even think I don't even think most of these people actually believe this. I think it's mostly a troll. But you get the fucking ten to twenty people who actually like latch on and believe to it, and they're the dumbest ones mm-hmm. and they're the loudest ones. Shaq, he believes it. Not Shaq. Shaq it was, was he? It was just here. Yeah. Kyrie, whatever that guy, basketball player blues. Shaq was like making fun of Kyrie. I, I looked into that too when I was looking at that. Shaq like went back on that the next day. He was like, "Oh, you guys believe me?" You know that? Like, I can't believe that. Did you re- did you hear his thing where he was like, "If you take up, it doesn't matter about the gas prices in- increasing. If you just fill up your tank every time it gets to halfway, you're not paying the same." Yeah, he's not. Shaq's not a smart guy. He's just good at dunking. But he's got a six trillion businesses. Like the dude's got something. Oh, he doesn't run shit. He doesn't run any of it. Yeah, pretending that's anything other than luck is is crazy pants. Um, you reckon he just hoovers up businesses left, right, and center, and just hopes one of them sticks? It sounds like rich people investing to me. Yeah, I was yep. just gonna say, get to financial planner, and then you just say, "Here's all my yeah. money, smart guy." 
and then he does all the work. Yeah. He doesn't do shit. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, fine. Yeah, you can't you can't convince me Shaq's skull isn't four inches thick. Like, <laughs> oh no, no I think he's dumb as bricks. I think he's dumb as bricks. I was just like, I couldn't, I can't believe he came over to Australia to do like a seminar tour. He did a seminar tour on like smart business management and saving the children. <laughs> Start off really, really rich and then yeah. spend that money. <laughs> Come from a really Be long line of to money. a really yeah. rich family and you'll be fine. Cut your pituitary gland so you're a giant, become rich, and then just spend all your money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone, you just see everyone in Australia just uh, or in South America because Australia doesn't exist, just cutting the pituitary gland. Just uh checks, checks out there like, okay, have huge hands and a brain the size of a walnut. <laughs> and you have everything I have. Sorry, I'm stuck on Stoodle being like, oh, not in Australia because they don't exist. You, sir, <laughs> I'm in I'm in Las Vegas next year. I'm going to haul my Australian ass up to Canada and I'm going to come and have a stern talking with you, sir, because you're making me cross. Don't wag that finger too hard. So I don't know what to say here. You guys have really gotten offended over the whole thing. So that's not really a good convincing argument. Uh, I've seen a lot from Shelly Floyd's put a lot of good arguments into this thing that I, they're better than your guys' arguments so far. So I'm still leaning on the Australia is not real thing. And uh, let's see what you guys, <laughs> let's see what you guys have to say to put this to bed before I, I agree or disagree with the whole thing. Personally, I will see what RJ has to say to you. <coughs> Sorry, I don't, I, <coughs> I don't speak stupid fluently enough to be able to communicate with you how ridiculous what you just <laughs> said was. So I'm going to, so maybe I'll talk really slowly and see if you okay. can understand, but okay. I'm going to handball it on because my blood pressure is going a bit up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, l- lucky for you, I speak Nazi, so I can interpret everything <laughs> Richard says into stupid and then not English <laughs> after that. You're a stupid Nazi. Is that why you understand both those things? <laughs> no, no, I'm just fluent in it. I, you know. <laughs> You would set yourself up. Oh, for yeah. that. I don't know why you like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Denying, look, I'm just. I'm. I'm not. Calm down. I'm a scholar. All right. That's the. <laughs> that's what I'm trying. I got my master's in Nazi. Sorry, RJ, but with that appearance that you're jogging today, you look like a lovely long-term partnered woman who sells, <laughs> you know, uh, boutique plants that they grow out of their their house and name really foreign names to stupid people. That's what you look like. Yeah. You look yeah. Like you- that that plus a part time linguistics professor at a community college, so that's why I speak <laughs> stupid and Nazi. So nice. Do you All also right. teach like women's studies? Um, yes. <laughs> I'd go to that class. <laughs> like this is the pussy right here. It's. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie you don't know what that is <laughs> that would be the best part is like i'm just pointing at her nipples like this is the, this, this is the is vagina a um, yeah. i'm joking i'm making jokes but you are a very gorgeous lesbian and i'm, ne- I'm never going to take that away from thank you. you it's very meaningful yeah. very meaningful <laughs> um okay richard <clears throat> i figure out a good way to end this but i i like, like I said, I, I know this is stupid, but I think it's funny. So I wanted to talk about it. That's all. It's amazing. I love it. Can you see why I needed both of you now? Yes. <laughs> and, you, so and yes, because we're, all think we're the same person. Do you know, how, how many people have actually told us that, like, do you know how many people on Facebook have actually said that they think Christy and I are the same person? A lot. Yeah. Uh, people have told me that a lot too. It's just hard to, you don't see us. Like, uh, we distinguish each other's voices because we see each other all the fucking time, but these people don't see us. So I could. I, Chrissy I, and I don't even sound the same. Well, I don't, I don't think we do, but I'm also in a country that doesn't exist. That's true. See, there you go. That's how we're ending it. Perfect. You admitted to it. That's no, awesome. That's why I'm ending no, the episode. That's no, why I'm ending the episode. No, That's amazing. No, no, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, I've got a genuine question. Where does Fergdergen, who had whatever her name is from Sweden, where <laughs> does she think that all of the colloquialisms came from again? It's all it's all made up by because Brits. We're all on drugs and we're all alcoholics and we just made it up. So, Richard, does that mean does that mean that she believes Vegemite doesn't exist? I know Vegemite exists though, because it fucking tasted and it tastes like I'll never forget. 
Tastes like shit. There is there is something wrong with you. There is Vegemite is glorious, <laughs> and you, sir, are a bearded man. And I'm not. I, I couldn't get there. And that's all I have to say because I'm looking at your face. But you make me cry. My ears are ringing. Vegemite is glorious. Well, if you have a Tim Tam, then. This is the yeah. greatest attack I've ever done in my life. <laughs> you, sir, a bearded man. Good one, though. <laughs> I, I, I can end it this way. For my final part in this, I'm going to quote uh, Shelly Flurd. 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 So <laughs> back to the old post. Tell the truth. Stand up for what is right. Make sure to spread the word. Australia is not real. It's a code word for the cold-blooded murder of more than 100,000 people. And that is not okay. We will not accept this. Stand up for the ones who died. Let it be known. Australia Richard. does not exist. <laughs> I hope a magpie swoops and rips your beard hair out. That's what I hope happens. I hope that a koala a comes and fucks you up the ass and you get chlamydia and die. That's what I hope happens. I hope a kangaroo gives you a cuddle and rips your innards out. <sighs> the one thing I can say, right, is our accent is a bit stupid. And I get that, right? Like our accent is weird and I can admit that being Australian. Like, what budget were they on if they could have the whole world involved, but they couldn't make up a better accent for us? That's why I said it's over the top. Everything's over the top. So it's stupid. It's We're caught you because you went over the top. You should have just went normal. Oh, you know what? If our culture wasn't so stupid, this wouldn't be a problem. Exactly. 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 So it's either Fuck you have you. a stupid culture or you're not real. I don't care which one it is, but they're both hilarious. <laughs> Fuck you and all, fuck Canada. <laughs> all I have to say, all I have to say on this is I am an extreme introvert. And the fact that all you fuckers think we don't exist works perfectly for me because it means I don't have to look at your fucking dumb faces when you all come <laughs> over here and going, oh look, it's a kangaroo. Oh, look, it's a koala. Oh, I'm gonna eat Vegemite. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you heard the lady. Fuck off. But as an extrovert, I also as an extrovert, don't leave me. I need people. <laughs> <laughs>it going private dicks detective agency we you got the problems we solve them all the time rj came up with that so it's not very good slogan yet but we we're we're working on it yeah yeah that, that, that's a little clunky okay what but... about this one track case story let's try that again hey welcome to private dicks detective agency you got a mystery i got the history like Mister. it there you go that was like that one that was rick's i okay yeah here's mine hello welcome to private dick's detective agency that's it. very professional very professional Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i always get called names but i'm really actually the professional one yeah out of everyone did did i just see the australians leave yes christy and Bo are here aren't they lovely they are for lying mm. sacks of shit. I hope they didn't see me walk in here. Mm. Why would? I'm mean, real disappointing. Oh, oh yeah. What, how can I help you today? Yeah. You uh, just, you just keep fucking up shit. You kind of. You, you just keep. You keep not giving me credit for the shit that I've done, bro. What do you? What kind of things have you done? I saw you, you come. You, you said you, Elvis faked his death. Elvis didn't fake nothing. That was me. I killed Elvis. He didn't fake his death. He died, died. You you killed Elvis? How old are you? You don't need to know that. You look good. If you're any age over 60, you look great. If you're thanks. 60, you look like a 60-year-old. Mm, thanks, I guess. All right. Well, uh, well, as you know, sorry, but... Uh, Elvis is dead. Mm-hmm. You didn't kill him. He died in 1977 of trying to poop. See, that's that's what I wanted everyone to think. You just don't. You don't get it. You don't get it. So shit. So what you're telling me is Elvis taking a shit took your credit, and I'm just like professing that you're upset about that. You killed Elvis. You didn't fucking kill Elvis. Prove it. I don't have to. Okay. 
I believe you because you have that fucking thing stretched out. What is going on here? Why are we? What are you doing with that? That looks like a girl. Just, just go, go, just, just go already. There we go. There we go. Quiet, quiet. <sighs> That ought to do. I think my job here is done. Hey there, all you private dickheads. That's probably not the name we're going to stick with. Anyways, uh, RJ here. I am here to tell you thank you for listening to another episode of Private Dicks. If you liked what you heard, go on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere they take your reviews, drop us five stars, say something nice. Also... What you just heard was from last season. If you want current episodes as they're dropped, head on over to patreon.com and search up Unethical Podcast. That's our mother podcast. I was not aware Private Dicks was a spinoff. I'm going to renegotiate my contract. On Patreon is a full 16-episode season more of Private Dicks, uncut videos of each episode, and many more things are getting added all the time. You can also find all of Unethical's content on there, so go listen to that. And if you're already a patron, fuck yeah, dude. You're the best. I just watched Private Dicks, and I think RJ's the funniest. What? Come on!